Howdy all, Big Country here with Big Country Survival. Sitting here, getting woke up. I'm drinking some Black Rifle coffee. I'll tell you what, that's some pretty dang gone good coffee. I give it my seal of approval. <laughs> uh, although anything's better than the stuff I normally buy. Uh, I buy store brand coffee. Um, or like, uh, like True Value, Great Value, Kroger brand, what have you. I buy, I buy all that <laughs> usually because it's cheaper. Uh, but, uh, it's like, there's no, uh, or at least that I know of, there's no West Virginia coffee roaster, so, you know, I can't support a small business in my area, right? So I'm going to go with cheap. Um, but anyway, so, veteran-owned <coughs> coffee company. That's another cause for me, but uh, that has nothing to do with the video, so. We're going to talk about some items that you may or may not have thought about um, during an SHTF situation about, you know, something, maybe stocking up on a few items. These aren't anything super crazily serious, whatever, um, but but they are items that will be useful, so I'm bringing that up. All right, we're going to start off with your hands and your feet taking care of those um, especially in the winter time a little bit of this uh, O'Keeffe's working hands I like this stuff because um, I can use just use I mean just such a small amount and um, and it doesn't uh, like you know normally guys I'll be honest I mean we use you know we use lotion whatever for dry cracked hands and I mean that's what mine I'm working out out in the cold my hands and feet get dry and cracked and all I just it, it ain't pretty I've had them pretty big gashes in my feet just pretty big old cracks um, and then that stuff uh, helps prevent it I mean any of those uh, lotions or, or balms or whatever will do that but uh, I personally prefer that stuff because on it. I don't want my hands to smell like lavender. I don't. And I don't want them to feel like... I don't know. Like I don't want my hands to feel like I just put lotion on. Whatever that feeling is supposed to be. Um, so I like that stuff. It works. Um, works real good. And, uh, you know. It's a little bit, uh, you know. Like I said, I don't want my hands to smell like anything. Like, I don't want my hands to smell like a lavender spring time or whatever. I just, I don't. No. Anyway, so some, uh, like, hand lotion. Um, I like the O'Keeffe's. Um, but uh, another thing would be, um, uh, like, a lip balm, uh, chapstick, whatever. That's another good item, especially for winter. Yeah. Chat lip. Now, I will tell you um, that pine sap um, does have properties similar to chap lips or to uh, chapstick. Um, you know, that's actually where the old wives' tale. There's a wives' tale out there about uh, kissing the third rail on a pine fence. Well, there's a reason for that is because the and for to get rid of chap lips because the the chaps um, the uh, the sap uh, has qualities that are kind of moisturizing so that can help with the chap lips and gives it some protection but anyway just the more you know right <laughs> all right now I've uh, for those of you who don't know I was in a wreck uh, like last week, but very recently, 
All right, and so a lot of I've been I've also been to the doctor more in one in this week than I have in the past, you know. Well, see, I've been out of the Navy for four years, so really, I've I've been to the doctor more in a week than I have in four years, so it is what it is. But uh, BioFreeze, this stuff. I mean, in, in any of these um, quality, you know, any of these items, um, whatever your preferred brand is, although I, I swear by this stuff, um, you know, it's, it works. Um, I started, but yeah, it, it works. Um, good for muscles, back pain, whatever. Uh, but, uh, you know, so, I like, any kind of, like, I mean, any kind of uh, gel or whatever, you know, similar to this for sore muscles and joints and everything, you know, insert preferred brand here. This is just what I prefer. Tiger Bomb's good, too. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I just now realized that I was that far off the camera. All right. Now, last but not least, this has nothing to do with your body. Well, not really. Um, damp red, whatever. Okay. This stuff. Basically, what this is is it draws out the moisture. It's like a, you know, the silica gel packets that you find in the in the uh, ammo can. Okay. This is basically one of them things on steroids. It's also got activated charcoal in it for absorbing odors. But, uh, more coffee. Um, here's the thing, especially if you live in a humid or damp environment, um, you may have a dehumidifier right now. It runs on electricity. Alright, well, things are not going to stop being damp and humid during an SHTF situation. All of these things that normally that you know modern homes are built to run for um, things like you know you know your your centralized air things like that. All of that stuff is not going to work, right? Right. So it's not going to be moving that air. And it's not going to be taking the moisture out of the air. Uh, you're, uh, like I said, some folks have dehumidifiers. Um, this is basically a dehumidifier. Actually, it's made for RVs. You can find it at the RV section at Walmart. Um, but get a bunch of them. They're about five bucks. But... Uh, you know, because the last thing that you're going to want to have to deal with in an S, well, there's a lot of things, but one of the one of the things you don't want to have to deal with in an SHTF situation is mold. You're not, you don't want to have to deal with mold. Um, that's another thing. Um, get an actual mildicide. Like, get a couple jugs of an actual mildicide and don't bleach. Bleach is not good for mold. Um, it kills the mold on the surface, but it doesn't kill the spores inside. Um, so it'll come back. Now, if you really want to kill mold, you need to get an actual mildicide. So, uh, you can find that at the hardware store. Um, you, know, you know, your big box hardware stores mom and pop say everybody should carry some form of a mildicide um, kills is a, a, a paint sort of substance I mean you paint it on and it'll prevent mold from happening but uh, but anyway but you're gonna want something that you know will kill mold and you're gonna want this to help prevent mold especially if you're like me you live in a humid damp environment I mean 90 degrees here is probably like 120 
down in, uh, you know, Arizona or somewhere just because of humidity. I've been told that people who've been both places. I've never actually been to Arizona. So, anybody who's been to Arizona and West Virginia in the summer, uh, let me know. <laughs> I, am I right? Uh, is, uh, is what I've been told correct? But, anyway. I'm going to sit here and drink this last cup of coffee here. And go get started on with my day. I hope that uh, those items, I mean, I, I get it. A lot of you probably do think about it, but no one talks about it. And and I just, I mean, this one, it's, this one especially, I don't think anyone talks about. But mold is one of them things that you really don't want, right? No. I, I don't want mold. This helped. Helps get rid of that or prevent that from actually happening, uh, especially when you know all modern services are kind of down. I mean, you think about it like that, and it just put them down in your basements and all of that. I just just put them wherever, right? Uh, yeah, it's. I really don't know what else to say on the subject. There's some there's some items here that maybe you've thought about them, maybe not. But uh, anyway, those those three I well I guess four or five, however many I ended up finally listing off. Um, those are some items for SHTF you may not have thought about. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to my coffee. Hope y'all have a great day and God bless.